The DJ who groped Taylor Swift just got hired at another radio station by using a fake name. So I'm sure you remember that time that Taylor Swift didn't stand down after a radio DJ groped her during a meet and greet at one of her concerts, right? Well, the DJ David Mueller was fired from his current gig and sued Taylor for losing his job. So she sued him for sexual assault and won and made him pay her $1. Now we've just gotten news that David's been given a second chance in the shiny new radio job. He's been hired at Delta Radio's Kix 92.7 WMYX in Moorhead, Mississippi. So not really an upgrade from his job in Denver, Colorado, but with the new job comes a new name. David will now go by the name Stonewall Jackson as part of the Jackson and John Bob show. Side note, just in case you didn't know this fun fact, Stonewall Jackson was a Confederate general in the Civil War, so I'm just a little triggered by that. But anyway, Swifties are not having this news and criticized Delta Radio CEO Larry Fuss in a Facebook group where he responded to the backlash saying, quote, Regardless of what he may or may not have done, does he really deserve to be banned from radio for life? He has lots of talent and will sound great on Kix 92.7. Yeah, you have lots of talent and he will go by the name of Stonewall Jackson, which I'm still confused about. Anyway, Larry has also admitted he believes David is innocent in the sexual assault case. Swifties are now rallying together to try to get David fired again. Fans are tweeting their concerns and even calling Larry on the phone. One fan tweeted, quote, Larry Fuss? Hashtag time's up. You might want to look into the hashtag because I can tell you right now the backlash you're receiving right now for your hiring decisions goes way beyond just Taylor Swift fans. This is about women, respect for women, and we will not longer be silent. Now some believe that David should be given another chance, but not in the same position where he again has the opportunity to mingle and take photos of young singers. And these young singers will have no idea who he is because he has a new name. So the question is, what is your take on this news? Is it okay for David to start over under a new name, especially when it's a Confederate general's name? Anyway, voice your opinion in the comment section below, and then after that, click right over here for more on Lady Gaga supporting Taylor Swift. I'm your host, Emil Inish Jr. You can find me at Emil Inish Jr. It's my birthday, guys, so I really appreciate you tuning in, and don't forget to subscribe. I will see you later.